So a very good evening to all my candidates who are watching this video. Today we have yet another agrarian faculty, right? Agrarian person uh, who has cracked Nabard and he will tell his strategy. But before that, I will just let you know that the person sitting us with in front of us is air rank one in JRF, right? He has cracked the JRF rank one also. He has been, right? He has completed his post-graduation in one of the reputed institutions of India, that is IERI, because agriculture students know the value of IERI, right, uh, Apaji? And yes. he has post-graduated from there, right? That's a very good thing. And today we will know about the overall strategy, how he prepared for the NABAD. But before that, my heartiest congratulations to you, Apaji, for your grand success in NABAD 2023. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to extend, uh, like, thank you for your feedback and uh, your suggestion, sir. That helped me in uh, achieving this grand success. Thank you. Thank you for your gesture. And before we start our discussion, uh, Apaji, one thing is there. When we talk yes. to the agrarian students, right, our agrarian fraternity, uh, one thing is there that the people are not aware of the NABAD. They do yes. not try to think beyond the AFO. Air Force is their primary target, then they start thinking about alternatives. So yes. what will you give message to the such students that they can also think for NABAD? NABAD is also for them only because it's an agriculture bank only. Yes, definitely, sir. Uh, like everyone has the potential to clear NABAD, sir. And especially uh, we being an agriculture graduates, we have an edge over other uh, graduates, I can say, sir. So uh, since uh, AID part is a major section of this exam, um, mm -hmm. We have, uh, will be already covering it in our uh, graduation courses as well. And uh, uh, if uh, the banking sector itself is the, uh, in their mind, like uh, preparing for AFO, then they can easily take up this NABAD uh, grade in which they have to add some of, some of the uh, extra like uh, subjects, kind of uh, uh, economic and social issues, uh, ESI and uh, other parts as well. So uh, I believe so they can uh, take up and uh, there's no harm in that. Like uh, Right, right, right. One more question that comes when uh, any agri student calls me. He or she is worried about the ESA section of NABAT, right? They say that okay. ARD is okay for me. I have studied for AFO. So ESI is not my cup of tea, right? Mm -hmm. So what message will you give to them? Is ESI actually not their cup of tea? No, sir, not uh, so, sir. Uh, if they are uh, actually dedicatedly preparing and uh, if they have a proper uh, guidance kind of thing, like what should be done and what should not be done, so they can uh, easily do that. Uh, the ESI is not that kind of thing, sir. Uh, like uh, uh, they can basically go through the NCRTs as well. Uh, so 11th NCRT, uh, Indian Economic Development, it goes, gives a, a broad understanding, like a kind of storybook, they can read it. So they can uh, mm -hmm. uh, easily cover the Tabard syllabus as well. So it is a kind of oriented uh, uh, book as well. So they can get a, a brief overview. And then for whichever exam they are preparing, they have to uh, refer the syllabus and previous year questions through which they get to know the areas to on which we, they can focus. And especially in the ESI part of NABAD, we can say current affairs plays a major role. Sir. So for mm. that sake, uh, uh, they can refer any one newspaper and the PIB uh, as a major source. So PIB, uh, accordingly, the ministries, uh, whatever right. revolve, uh, economic and uh, social issues, related ministries so they can just uh, go through them and uh, uh, it can be done sir, through that right 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 now coming on to your overall preparation right uh, yes. trajectory if you see uh, how do you just make up the things for phase one of the examination if you can briefly tell us the merit and the non-merit section uh, what was okay. your overall take for these two phases okay sir. So regarding the uh, non merit section, sir, that is uh, quant reasoning, English uh, decision making and computer. So basically, uh, what uh, uh, when I came to uh, know about the NABAT and uh, just about the patterns and all these things, then later on I decided that uh, 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 there was an upcoming exam of RBI grade B within uh, uh, one month or so or 20 days. Mm -hmm. So I decided like, uh, yeah, I will uh, give the NABAT uh, grade B and then uh, uh, strengthen my non-merit parts such as quant reasoning english and uh, uh, like general awareness as well 
uh, within these 20 uh, days or whatever so i then uh, can focus on other parts so i just uh, took up the navar grade way and then started preparing for court reasoning and uh, english all those things so i just made them strength as a strength and then i just kept it aside after uh, the grade way exam so uh, i referred a few of the sources which uh, the self studying uh, candidates can refer so for quant uh, uh, you can refer ashish arora sir uh, classes which are freely available in the youtube and uh, also the kaushik pot sir's classes you can refer and for reasoning they can uh, refer for the ankush lamba sir who is a kind of one stop solution for that thing Mm-hmm. And uh, in uh, and English, you can refer the previous year questions and uh, focus on the areas and to uh, refer the classes of uh, Nimsha Bansal, ma'am, and uh, Rani, ma'am, whichever you feel comfortable. So English can can be done in that way. And for GA, I had uh, referred the compilation of uh, some uh, I think uh, affairs or something, sir. So that thing I had referred, and that gave me a good overall uh, about uh, overview about this uh, non merit sections and other things like decision making computer. Um, computer uh, in my uh, post graduation as well i had the minor and uh, for jrf also i had studied and uh, later on uh, the uh, pdf provided by user that is uh, rrbp or some uh, pdf it is there mm, uh, so yeah. that uh, huh, i revised and uh, highlighted in the in that pdf so, and that is uh, that will suffice i suppose uh, be, since it's a non merit section it will suffice and regarding the decision making uh, there is a one session conducted by you in the in the course and uh, apart from that uh, previous year questions and the mock tests whichever we give mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i believe uh, we have to, though the cutoff is uh, like a two or something lesser but we have to target around four to five marks in the mocks so that will give an, uh, an extra edge and uh, will be on a safer side i can say for this non merit section and uh, regarding the uh, uh, merit section uh, aid part and esi part uh, Actually, huh, I uh, had uh, some uh, UPSC like uh, agriculture option, so that also helped mm-hmm. me for uh, ARD. And yes, I static part uh, since I was uh, uh, preparing for UPSC that would have been, right. uh, that would cover. And uh, uh, regarding the current affairs part, I used to refer daily newspaper and uh, uh, the classes you made, sir. That was also helpful. Like uh, ARD part, so uh, you was uh, like master notes will also be helpful in uh, like the core covering the core part especially. and uh, uh, identifying the key areas on which the uh, exam is focusing uh, that is also mm-hmm. uh, most important mm-hmm. thing and uh, uh, ard and esi part apart from this uh, the mock tests whatever you gave so those are mm-hmm. uh, very uh, helpful we can say because whatever we read here uh, that's a kind of uh, background knowledge we are gaining uh, mm-hmm. though the same uh, question may not appear in the exam right. so the right. uh, sim- so the, the knowledge we can use of this uh, to answer those questions so that kind of thing we can tackle it uh, so for that uh, aptitude to develop i hope uh, uh, we have to get the test and uh, test series uh, so that will help us um right the uh, yes, right. Uh, right so that's a very good message i think see if any mentor or anybody teaches you he can if he teaches you the spelling of orange say right the examiner may ask the spelling of oranges Huh. so it is up to you you have to apply your mind and brain right so yeah. that is the thing you cannot say copy thing same thing will appear reappear here it happens for some question but many areas you have to apply your own mind right you have to use your own gray matter uh, that is the uh, very important thing uh, told by apaji uh, now coming on to the main part of the examination where the real battle begins right for your nabard because of the cut throat competition uh how do you used to manage the descriptive papers means your writing habit how many answers you used to write yourself and practice right what was the strategy yes. regarding this uh yes sir. so regarding uh, main sir uh, there are two papers like uh, uh, english and other one so the english carries uh, uh, 100 marks so it is uh, actually uh, 50% of weightage so i accordingly dedicated 50% of time we can say that uh, it has more weightage so more time of uh, more number uh, more uh, the time of preparation i dedicated to the english and uh, in the english part essay uh, letter writing and precise so for essay uh, so i had a upsc uh, written uh, means once so i had some uh, kind of uh, like uh, whatever dimensions should be written and uh, uh, the introduction and conclusion how should be drafted so basic idea I had and basically we need to follow that protocol it helps uh, because a well drafted introduction and conclusion gives a, a better impression and as well uh, covering the dimensions including the data and examples to uh, substantiate your uh, point of view will be fetching you more marks i believe and then uh, the other part is uh, uh, 
like letter writing so there is a perfect uh, like we need to uh, prepare one format so you have also made one class on the youtube sir so there we get some fodder points and also uh, edit apps uh, uh, navin some they have also made and uh, regarding press writing also so uh, i followed uh, edit apps shows one video is this so they have uh, mentioned like how we should uh, uh what are the parameters on which we have to work for that press writing so those things i also did and for uh, conclusion kind of thing uh, for this uh, essay i would like to say because in uh, yesterday ha huh, yesterday's news paper there was an uh, article from which uh, 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 just like a uh, kind of thing, it was appeared, and I collected it. Like for example, in textile related, anything it comes. So there was a, a mention of a, a, like some Bharat text or something. Uh, it was there. Mm-hmm. So you can write that Goa government uh, is promoting textile sector through the theme of uh, theme like uh, farm to foreign via uh, fiber, fabric, and fashion. So these kind of uh, uh, things uh, it it uh, really helps. And also recently our. Uh, uh prime minister has also quoted like uh, uh or whatever amrit kal it is there so this is a period of reform perform and transform so such mm. kind of uh, uh, things do help uh, in 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 your uh, essay part i can say and uh, uh, this is regarding the uh, english part i think so i have covered and uh, other thing uh, is like uh, descriptive technical and descriptive objective so uh, mm. as you have uh, suggested so so i have uh, uh focused on i had focused on objective part as well uh, uh objective part a little bit more and for the subjective is like uh, i had a basic uh, like a uh, uh, upsc background and that's just uh, i know how like introduction could be formed and the uh, conclusion body all those things mm-hmm. and that's the, mm-hmm. basically the structure of the answers i was knowing mm-hmm. and the other issues uh, most of the uh, students face is like typing uh, so typing it has to be uh, uh practiced uh, it's like uh, like a riding bike so the more we ride it will be more perfect we be in so uh, i had no issue in that because i had average 35 to 40 words per minute so that thing uh, while practicing and your uh, mock test also i used to give so daily two questions something i guess you, you used to give so mm-hmm. those questions also i i, I practiced and uh, uh, that uh, helps uh, to keep a uh, rhythm and uh, also around uh, uh, two or three uh like a uh, same format whatever uh, the final examination conducts right so uh, like uh, english and english in the forenoon and uh, mm-hmm. afternoon uh, those those sessions like i used to uh, simulate those sessions so uh, two sessions i simulated i think one was the uh, edit up uh, open mock something and then other mm-hmm. thing from your so those thing helps sir Mm, and regarding english as well one more point i uh, I'll, i would like to highlight is uh, the use of grammarly so grammarly plays a important role as well right. uh, not only in english part but also in uh, uh, esi and ird part as well when we write the answers so it uh, matters grammar actually matters so there uh, we uh, should be learning on uh, our mistakes itself so just uh, uh, like uh, typing some isas or something as uh, answers then copy and paste it and then learn through your mistakes so where where we, where are we making the mistakes so through that uh, automatically our brain perceives that so next time we, we i should not make this mistake so uh, mm. uh, uh-huh. subsequently you improve your grammar in other parts so uh, that's the way uh, it went for right this. Yes, and in the real examination when you sat for yes, the sir. phase 2 of the examination right yes sir uh, so what was like the word limit situation uh, had you completed the 600 400 mark or it was less than that what was your take in the real exam yes, regarding uh, sir uh, english uh, was the morning session i had good uh, got a good keyboard and i i i was able to manage the thing uh, like word limits of all those things and uh, but uh, essay somewhat uh, it was okay but in the afternoon session sir we had shifted to other uh, other center so mm-hmm. where ha uh, mm-hmm. where i got the keyboard that was it was not in the proper condition then i had to hit the button so hard that uh, uh, literally the <laughs> other person was looking at me uh, the beside people yes sir this happened in the exam hall so uh, mm, because uh, uh, i was typing typing the button was not like it got stuck or something it happened so uh that was the case in the real exam i faced so that costed me like uh, i could not meet the word limit however i did not compromise with the contents the content part i was at, uh, able to deliver the thing so right and this time one more good thing was that there was bifurcation in the questions so mm-hmm. student was exactly knowing at what stage of what he has to write right ha 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 yes sir so that was also there Oh, yes. uh, earlier there was a lump sum marking they said mm. bifurcation so i think when the marks will come out 
this year we will see a slight variation in the uh, right subjective marks of the student those who had catered the need as per the different bifurcation they will get good marks those who have not they will get a slightly less marks in the descriptive that will also uh, yes uh, this one point also i would like to highlight because i had addressed all the parts of the questions though the mm -hmm. word limit was mm -hmm. Uh, now coming on to the final phase of the examination because without that also nobody can think of selection that is your interview. So yes, how was your overall miss experience in the real interview of Nabad? Yes sir, uh, in the real interview actually uh, I would like to credit my uh, roommates for the preparation of the interview stage sir because I uh, Sachin and Asidu there so they actually uh, what uh, used to be they, uh, they used to sit like the panel members and I used to come and we uh, organized kind of mock interviews mm -hmm. at least uh, three sets of uh, mock interviews in a day so I, so in that way I used to uh, like uh, overcome my weaknesses uh, I can say sir and also your feedback and i gave uh, many other uh, mock tests as mm -hmm. well so from many uh, institutions mm -hmm. as well so those feedbacks really help for me and uh, in the real interview uh, yeah the confidence and the uh, whatever uh, the way that uh, panel members treated us was very cordial so that uh, mm, like it was kind of a discussion thing sir. so uh, it was oh, not, uh, it was okay sir not that uh, mm -hmm. bad as well it was good. Yeah, good practice is, I think, a good thing, right? To do with your yes. siblings in your home or friends over mm -hmm. in your home, writing mm -hmm. a mirror practice. This all thing improves ah. your performance. Yes, right? sir, definitely. That right, really right, right, right. My last question to you, Abhaji. Uh, yes, uh, many students will be appearing for 2024, right? If the vacancies yes. come. Uh, yes, there are many things to do also. And I asked from the successful candidates this one thing that what are the two, three things they should avoid in their preparation? Yes, sir. Like uh, avoiding, you can say, sir, uh, like they should not uh, neglect the non-merit section. So that will mm -hmm. also cost, uh, you may miss the bus of the teams as well. So uh, that is the one thing they uh, they should give equal weightage for the, those mm -hmm. as well. And uh, do not neglect this mock test as well because we need to practice. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, Bruce Lee said that, uh, I fear not the man who has practiced thousand kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick thousand times. So that that right. king, uh -huh, so that actually it helps in the mains part, especially for you. And uh, the prelims also, as I highlighted, the aptitude of answering the questions that you uh, do know, so that helps through that comes to the test side mm -hmm. practice. And uh, other thing I can say is uh, do not uh, neglect the grammar part as well as the typing. So if you are uh, uh, lacking in uh, hmm, typing so part you can just uh, uh, improve it on based on practicing uh, yourself and right. grammar so, hmm, grammar so i have uh, said like grammarly you can use it and uh, do it so basically you use those mock tests to identify your weaknesses and then work mm -hmm. upon that so i, I think uh, it will right be right done. so right side by uh -huh. see uh -huh. use mocks to right explore uh -huh. your weak areas do not get demotivated by the less marks in the mocks that is not the right thing so uh, try to go through the mocks try to explore that uh -huh. where your weak areas are yet you can perform better Right. So thank you, Bala, uh, Apaji, for giving so much time to us and letting the future aspirants yes, know sir. that how they should prepare. Thank right. You. Definitely, you will be a role model for many agriculture yes. students also, and they can also do better in the coming days. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, thanks.